is of genus of genus conventional crime. Because all the elements which are present in a conventional crime, they are present here. Present. We are looking towards the man's rear. Yes. Man is here. Actress rear is here. Harm yes. is here. Yes. Uh, so we try to. But the only difference is yeah. that medium is different. medium is different. One more problem, which is there in the yes. cyber crime, yeah. because when we talk about any other law, yeah. then we talk about the geographical boundaries. We are talk, talk about the tangible objects. Yeah. We talk about the tangible records. Yeah. But here. It is not there. Yes. It is a boundaryless crime. Yes. Yes. Things are intangible. Yeah, right. They are in the uh, form of a, a binary code. Yes. And uh, when we talk about crime and when we talk about the controlling of crime, so a different and specialized approach is needed yes. to control it. But from criminological point of view, <coughs> uh, I agree with because uh, two uh, arguments are going on in this country. One. People are saying that we should have a separate and different law to control this type of criminality. Yes. But others are saying, no, 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 it is the same. Yes. Uh, when you talk about the offense, yeah. you are talking about the punishment. Yeah. And the principles which we have tested so far yeah. are fair enough. They are far good uh, to be applied in this area also. And you know, uh, Lord Atkins, uh, what he said, I would like to quote that. Yeah. I quote, the criminal quality of an act cannot be discovered by reference to any standard but once is the act prohibited with consequences. consequences. Any act for which, hmm. any act or omission for which some punishment is being provided by the law, that will fall in the category of an offense. And if it is related with the computer as a uh, tool, target, or both, I think uh, we may call it cyber crime. Yeah. But uh, truly speaking, hmm. it is an offense. Yes. offense and offense mm -hmm. and the procedure which is there yes. it is just like any, any other, other ordinary crime offense. so uh, uh, today mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, if we want to define uh, cyber yes. crime we can say that uh, any criminal activity that uses a computer either as an instrumentality target or a means for perpetu perpetuating further crimes comes within the ambit of cyber crime a generalized definition of the cyber crime may be unlawful act wherein the computer is either a tool or target or both is a cyber crime. Now the question will be, uh, you see, uh, we criminologists always try to find the causes of crime, reasons for, and you see, uh, one can ask this question, why you people are so much concerned about it? Then um, uh, Hart in concept of law has said, and uh, I would like to quote that also. Uh, the concept of law has said, uh, Hart in his work, the concept of law has said, quote, human beings are vulnerable, so rule of law is required to protect them. Why we need the rule of law? We need the rule of law to protect the people, to protect the society. society. Similarly, applying this to cyberspace, we may say that computers are vulnerable, computer network is vulnerable, and therefore rule of law is required to protect and safeguard them against cyber crime. And that is the reason yes. for which special types of offenses has been created under the IT Act, amendments has been made under the IPC only to facilitate good fair, just governance, only to allow to people use these technological facilities for promoting their legal interest to ensure good electronic commerce through these means. One more question comes and that question is uh, why computer has become so much important? And when we say that it is vulnerable, why we say it is vulnerable? It is vulnerable because the reasons which I have uh, pointed out, uh, they, uh, I have divided them into five categories. Uh, the first uh, category is, uh, computer is having capacity to store data in comparatively small space. As I told you, yeah. today's world is governed by information. Person who is controlling the information is the most powerful person. Yes. 
एंड द होल वार इज ऑन टू गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन कॉम्पिटिशन इन कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड कॉम्पिटिशन अमंग द कंट्रीज कॉम्पिटिशन अगेंस्ट अमंग द इंडिविजुअल्स एवरीबडी इज ट्राइंग टू गेट एक्सेस टू द इंफॉर्मेशन वेदर बाई फेयर मीन्स और फाउल मीन्स सच इन इंफॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल इन द पब्लिक डोपेन एंड इवन द इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज अवेलेबल फ्रीली पीपल वॉन्ट टू अल्टर इट पीपल वॉन्ट टू डैमेज इट पीपल वॉन्ट टू डिलीट इट सो एज टू सो एज टू ब्रिंग बैड नेम फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर द कंट्री एज यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट रिसेंटली वन ऑफ द वेबसाइट ऑफ द इंडिया गवर्नमेंट वॉज हैक्ट एंड सम ऑफ सीन मेटेरियल वॉज पुट ऑन दैट lot of um, things were done at that time because now everybody is uh, feeling concern about the security of the system system security of the communication and that's why i think that uh, this small space where you can store lot of information hmm. has become a one of the reason for the cyber criminality hmm. because by accessing that particular Uh, space, space one can get lot of information and if he is having the technological know how they can also play with that information yes. the second reason is it is easy to access you know uh, when we hear that uh, uh, young boys of the age of 12 14 16 they are hacking like anything yes. the skills which they have developed yes. to play uh, with this uh, particular um, technology yes. is enormous and you see it doesn't required any uh, formal or uh, proper qualification it is a matter of skill yes. if you know to play with it Computer. one can access to any place of the world and uh, he can uh, do what he wants to do the third thing is sometimes this technology is complex it yes. creates problems hmm. and that is also one of the reason that um, some safeguards are needed Uh, fourth sometime most of the pilferage data leakage alteration damage it occurs because of the negligence of the person so how much uh, emphasis is to be given to it and uh, is there a need uh, to come out with the new dimensions yeah. of the negligence you are right How? sir the internet service provider also has a positive But, obligation yeah, that's right yeah if without their knowledge if somebody has used that then it's a different question as we understand that's the right. menseria is yeah, like, yeah 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 you are right sir. and the uh, last but the most important thing is the loss of evidence evidence you see that's this thing. is one system yes. where everything everything deletes of its own sometimes we delete it yes. sometimes it deletes of its own yes. if some offense has been committed you know uh, we are living in a democratic country if we want to convict any person then it is the duty of the prosecution to prove the guilt yeah. beyond reasonable right. doubt yeah. and his guilt can be proved only with the relevant evidence yes. and uh, that evidence must be produced before the court and that evidence should be able to prove the case against the accused but what shall be the evidentiary value yes. and how that evidence will be retrieved because uh, it is not a tangible document it is a intangible uh, thing yes. and when uh, you see a new discipline has emerged uh, digital forensic yes uh, digital forensic investigation has is assuming shape yes. becoming more and more uh, you see Uh, popular as well as important because all the state